Everyone needs compassion, the love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior. The hope of nations. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. He rose and conquered the... The word of God says in Matthew 24 verse 27, it says, For just as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to welcome the presence of the Lord in this place tonight. We're going to acknowledge his presence for who he is, what he is doing in the ministry and what he is continuing to do. Amen. Let's pray and give him glory. Let us pray. Father, you are our provider. Abba Father, you are our King, you are our friend, you are our judge. Abba Father, we give you all the glory because you are worthy of all praise. Abba Father, fill this place, Abba Father, with your presence. Let your glory rain down, Abba Father, upon your children. Thank you. 
announcements? Are we ready for our announce announcements? I think. Yeah. Amen. Chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. The King James Version, please. And it reads, When they had heard the king, verse 10, When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Hallelujah. Amen. If you know the story of, at the, if you know the beginning of Matthew 2, it speaks about the three wise men who came all the way from the east yeah. looking for Jesus. Yeah. And they saw, the, the, way, the reason why they came to look for Jesus was because they saw the star. Yeah. They saw the star when he was born in Bethlehem. And then that's when they knew, oh, the star is there. Yeah. We must go and look for the king. Yeah. And when they came to King Herod, they asked King Herod, where is this king? Mm -hmm. Not just any king. Where is this king of the Jews so we can come and worship him? Yeah. Amen? Amen. And how would, I asked myself the question as I was going through the scripture. How did they know that as soon as they see the star, that's how they, that's, that's the sign for them to go and look for Jesus. The, God created the stars, the lights. For, for us, for seasons, days and times. Amen? Amen. 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 So when they saw the star, obviously somebody told them that as soon as they see the star, that's when they go and look for Jesus. So I went back into my studies and um, I asked myself, who are, these three who are these three wise men? And in the scriptures, uh, in, my, in my researches, I found that the Maggie is a short version of is a plural version of the word magus. Magus. They were sorcerers. They were sorcerers. It was a term used for priests and wise men among the Medes and Persians. The religion consisted of astrology. Their religion consisted of astrology, exorcism, soothsaying, magic, and divination. They were pagans. They were pagans. So in saying that, they were Medes and Persians, obviously, and when I look back on the timeline, the timeline of where the Persians came from was when King Cyrus had reigned, reigned about over 500 years before Christ was born. King Cyrus was a Persian. And when King Cyrus came into reign, who was under his, his um, authority at that time? Does anyone know? Nobody? I know Apostle does. Nobody knows? It was King. It was Daniel. Daniel was under his authority at the time because, and b back in the days when he first became authority under Nebuchadnezzar, huh? Yeah. Because they were in captive. They were in um, what is it? They were in, they were they were captive. Captivity. Was it captive? Yeah, they were in captivity. Thank you, by Nebuchadnezzar, and that's when Daniel started showing his um his relationship with God and how that moved him and, and that also moved King Nebuchadnezzar and moving on to those who reigned after him and when he came to King Cyrus. That's where the Persians came from, all in all. That's my point. That's where these three, where, where these wise men came from. We don't know how many there were. We don't know because it all, all it says is the, the wise men. Wise men found, anyways. So in saying that, if finding out that Daniel, that they must have been under the rulership of Daniel back in those days, amen? Amen. 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 Yes. So they knew, they knew that from the word of Daniel, that's how they could, that's how they knew that the king of Jews was going to be born again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when they saw the star, they chased it. Amen. And when they saw the star, they came with everything. Not only did they come with a heart of worship, but they came with gifts. Amen. amen gifts fit for a king and when they saw the star it was just a baby they were coming to to worship coming to look for they were just looking for a baby how blessed are we that we that in those days they came to worship jesus in his baby form in, in his infancy
But now, in this day today, we can worship him and glorify him because he's already on the throne now. Amen. That everything that came to pass. The, uh, the scriptures say that the Bible prophesies their prophecies of the coming of Jesus. Mm. Yeah. The New Testament, the Old Testament are prophecies of the coming of Jesus. The, Old, the New Testament are the... Are the... The fulfillment. Because all the way through the Gospels it says, and this was revealed, and so it was that the prophet, mm. that the prophet said this and that the prophet said that, that it came to pass. Amen. Amen. So, in our giving today... Let's give with all our hearts. We will give gold with our hearts, even though we don't have gold. <laughs> oh, and when they came, when they came with their blessings, it was pure. It was pure. Everything, there was nothing fake about it. They were ready. And these are pagans. Pagans who weren't even the people of Jesus who came to give their offerings to our Father. Amen? Amen. 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 And as we give... Even though we don't have pure gold or pure frankincense. Oh my gosh, I've tried my best to look for frankincense here in Australia. And I cannot find it. I know, right? I can't find it. But even though we don't have frankincense, Mo, what is the best gift that we could ever give to God? Although we come with our offerings, although we come with our tithes, the best gift that we could ever give God is our hearts. Our hearts. Amen. Yeah. Let's give unto our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you.